I'm going to show you how to take your song from sounding like this. To sounding like this. Put it to it's night. a party. I'm going to show you how to get th those results with using only Logic Stock plugins. Welcome back. It's EK in the building. Back with another video. I've been getting a lot of requests on this video because you guys always see me use third-party plugins and doing these big elaborate mixes. But this video is going to be dedicated to anyone who wants to learn how to achieve a professional sounding mix with using the factory plugins that come with Logic. Now I'm going to break this video down. It might be a little long, but I'm going to show you every plugin that I use and explain to you what I did with the plugin and every step from the music to my vocals to my automation to my master bus fader i'm gonna show you everything in this video so by the end of this video if you have logic with only stock factory plugins i'm gonna show you how to achieve a professional sound and mix like this so let's get into it the first thing what after I lined up all my tracks, if you watch my other videos, you, you notice how I set up my mixes. I line up all my tracks. I do my pitch correction. I create my buses for my instrument sins, my vocal effects, things like that. So I'm going to start this video with showing you my mixing process how i mix now what i did in this in this mix actually i started with the drums and i have all the drums right here i started with the kick and as you can see i used a channel eq i took away a little bottom on there i boosted certain frequency and put a little high end on this kick. I actually have like two kicks in this song. Then I went and used the compressor. All right. I got the threshold set at 29. Two to one ratio. Makeup gain at 4 dB. I have the limit on. And I backed off the mix around 86%. Okay, so I'll let you hear the kick. with just the EQ. Put it to me. So without the EQ. So you see I was able to add punchiness. Now I bring in the compressor. Put that nice snap on there. This is without the compressor. It's with the compressor. So once I have my kick going, then I bought in my second kick. And that has like a top end on it. Let you just hear that. I EQ'd that kick. I boosted a little bit. 
around 125. And I'll put a little high end on it about 2K. And I also put the compressor on there. You can see my compressor settings. Then I blended both kicks. And basically for the rest of the drums, that's what I did. I went EQ'd and compressed the snare. Show you my compression I put on the snare. Just give it that pop. And I actually got like about three or four claps. And I just brought all of these in. Also, you see on my buses, on bus one, if you go over here to my auxiliary, I have, a, I have this is my bus one, tr this is my bus one track, I have a space design on it, using it as a reverb, I used a large bright room, and just went in and adjusted the pre-delay, and then adjusted the length. And I played with the wet dry. After that, I just put a EQ on there and just rolled off some bottom in on the EQ. Right? You see how I rolled that off right there. So that's coming out my bus number one, my sin number one. Now I have two three four five six sins six buses six auxiliary tracks however you want to call them now i just put a little reverb on them claps i left the kicks dry notice i left the kicks dry no reverb and i just put a little reverb on the claps right Okay, once I got all those drums balanced the way that I like to get them balanced, I highlighted all of them. I created a bus on bus number two. You see bus number two right here? I created the, the sins on bus number two. Then I put it on pre-fader. See, I put it on pre-fader so you see how the knobs show up on this end instead of this end. So that's going to be my side chain. So I went, made that bus two. And on the side chain, I end up putting the fat effects on there. I put a little saturation on here, like 15% with a 5% vary drive. Then I put a little bass enhancer on there, about 50% left it on warm. I'm using um, the soft limiter on there. And the compressor amount, I use the VCA compressor, right? So this is the side chain, my drum side chain. That's without the side chain. I'll bring the side chain down a little bit. Okay, next I went and 
started working with my bass. And this was the bass before I did any processing to it. Let's listen to the bass by itself. So first what I did was I hooked up. I used the bass amp designer. Let's turn that on. And after I used the bass designer, I just went into the EQ, put a little EQ on there. Then I went and used the opto compressor on the bass. This the opto compressor sounds really nice on the bass. I didn't do too much, as you see. So it's, see, it's barely hitting at minus five. Then I went and used the sub bass plugin. These are all stock logic plugins. I went and used a sub bass plugin just to give it a little more bottom on my sub bass uh, on my bass sound. So let's hear it with it. Okay, now I'm gonna bring back in the drums. So I got a good little groove I like. And I just balanced everything out. Next we got a road sound. I'll show you what I did to the road sound. Let's go to the road sound. First thing I did was I EQ'd it. Real subtle, because I liked the sound that they had. Then I bought in the compressor. And for this, I used the, the FET compressor. As you see that I caught I made a little snap on that and the threshold I got set like minus 31 with a three and a half to one ratio and I did like a medium attack a medium release with a little makeup and also I put the limit on Then I wanted to add a little something to that road, so I end up using a flanger and just brought my mix down. So let's hear it with the flanger. I'll turn it up so you can hear it. Hear what that's doing? Then I just bring it back into the mix where I like it. Last but not least, I still have a little reverb. I put a little room reverb on there. So next we have a uh, clab sound. Let's listen to the clab sound. What 
I did was I put a little EQ on there first. Then after my EQ, I used the compressor to bring up the volume. And then I used the pedal board just to make a, a certain sound that I wanted. Then I put a little reverb on that. And I, I put the pan on. You notice how I pan this, the roads over to the left and pan the clav over to the right, just a little. Just so it's standing out and it's gonna be in its own spot. That's giving it space in the mix. Let's bring in the bass with it. Okay, next, I, I had a piano. Let's hear the piano with, before my effects. I use the channel EQ. Then I use the compressor also. Then I use the tube EQ. to bring in some good body after that I put a little reverb on there See how I'm building the music. Okay. Next sound I put on there is a keyboard sound, and that's like a synth sound. So it's two, actually two synth sounds. And once again, I use the EQ on it. I boost it up about 7 dB at 300 hertz. Then put a little top end on there. I also compressed it. I used the FET compressor for this. It sounded really good on there. And then I used the echo to create a little echo part on the end of it. So let's hear it with the echo. So let's add the other music back in. Now I have another lead sound. Let's listen to it. Now this sound, the only thing I did to this sound is I compressed it. That was it. 
is sometimes less is more. So if you like the sound, you might have not have to put EQ on there if you like the sound. So let's hear both sounds together. my horn sound so I have two horn tracks what I did was I compressed both of them I used the classic VCA compressor for both of those so let's and I EQ them now notice how I did one EQ I boosted about 470 with a wide sweep right And this one, I boosted about 10, about 1K with a wide sweep. So let's hear both horns. Now let's bring in back all of the music. Also, I have some violins that just play at the end. Okay, so I'm going to play it back just so you can hear the vibe of it with just my music. Okay, so now we have the background vocals. It's a party night. Love's taking over. It's going down. The groove is right. Love's taking over. Mess around. you find love tonight. Love's taking over. Cause love's taking over. Taking over. Taking over. Taking over. Now I'm going to show you how I process those first. I use the de-esser. Let's turn on the de-esser. It's a party night, love's taking over, it's going down, the groove is right, love's taking over, mess around, you'll find love tonight, love's taking over, cause love's taking over, taking over, taking over, taking over. Okay, so you see how that took that syphilis out, the S's controlled those. 
Then I went and used my EQ. I rolled off a little bottom end off of it. And I did a cut at like 250 hertz. And then I just boosted a little high end on there. A little top end for some air. So let's hear it with the EQ. It's a party night. Love's taking over. It's going down. And the groove is right. Love's taking over. Mess around. you find love tonight. Love's taking over. Cause love's taking over. Taking over. Taking over. Taking over. Okay, so I opened up the vocal. I took away some of that muffly sound on there. Just to give it a little more clarity. Then I went and used the Opto compressor. And I like to use the Opto compressor on the vocals. I didn't do too much. But let's listen to it with the compressor on. It's a party night. Love's taking over. It's going down. And the groove is right. Love's taking over. Mess around. you find love tonight. Love's taking over. Cause love's taking over. Taking over. Taking over. Taking over. Okay, after that, I went and put the tube EQ on there. I boosted the high end around 10k just to give it a little more air also i boosted some low end to give it some more body to the vocal i did a little dip on there around 3k because that's where his nasal starts kicking in so i wanted to cut a little bit of that out then i boosted about 2.8 uh, 2 i did a boost around 500 hertz just to put a little bit more body into it so let's hear it with the EQ. It's a party night. Love's taking over. It's going down. And the groove is right. Love's taking over. Mess around. you find love tonight. Love's taking over. Cause love's taking over. Taking over. Taking over. Taking over. Okay. And then finally what I did was I like to put a VCA compressor at the end of my vocal chain and it's not doing too much but let's hear it with the vca on there it's a party night love's taking over it's going down and the groove is right love's taking over mess around you find love tonight love's taking over cause love's taking over taking over taking over taking over so you see that's making the vocal hit right in your face. It's controlling it very well. And just bringing those harmonies out a little more. Next, I went and put my delay on there very little. It's a party night. Love's taking over. It's going down. And the groove is right. Love's taking over. Mess around. you find love tonight. Love's taking over. Cause love's taking over. Taking over. Taking over. Taking over. Nice. And after that delay, I went and put a little chorus on there. Notice how I have these set up on sins. This is the chorus. It's a party night. Love's taking over. It's going down. And the groove is right. Love's taking over. Mess around. you find love tonight. Love's taking over. Cause love's taking over. Taking over. Taking over. Taking over. Now you see that chorus is just taking a little bit of that grit off the high end, making the vocal a little more smooth. Then I went ahead and put on my my reverb, my room reverb, okay, which is my space designer. It's a party night. Love's taking over. It's going down. And the groove is right. Love's taking over. Mess around. you find love tonight. Love's taking over. Cause love's taking over. 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 Taking over.
Okay. So let's bring those backgrounds in with the vocals, uh, with the music. I'm going to bring those in with the music. It's a party. Okay, now we got that sounding good. Now we're going to go ahead and move to the lead vocals. Now what I did on the lead vocals is I just went to this channel. Went to my settings. I hit copy. Channel strip settings. Then I went to the lead vocal track. And then I went right here and hit pace so once i hit pace everything what i have here set copies and paste right over here on my lead vocal track but since it's the lead i didn't want too much going on with the delay so i turned the delay down also i turned the chorus down a little bit and i turned the reverb down a little bit so let's hear it with the lead we'll go back a little bit Put it it's a party Swing City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the way you do it. Swing City. It's going down. down. Okay, let's hear it before any processing. Put it tonight. Said it's been a long time coming, coming. Since I felt the funky be put it tonight. Let's go back. Hey, pretty girl, I've been waiting all night for you to get on the dance floor. And I like the way you move your body. Now let's turn everything on. Hey, pretty girl, I've been waiting all night for you to get on the dance floor. And I like the way you move your body in front of me. <laughs> Makes me want to fall in love. But I don't want to move too fast. I just want to feel that music. Baby, get close. Because we're going to party tonight. Music. Baby, get Okay, so you see how I had the echo come in on the end. So I did an automation ride. So if you go over here to my information window hit a you can see the automation that I did on here just to have the echo come in at certain spots right so the way I do like to do that is I put that on bus six that's a lead delay now I'm gonna send the fit the the bus control is gonna come up on my fader so I can control the amount of delay with my fader instead of going up here trying to control it in this little window. So let's see that automation that I did. Music, baby get close, cause we gonna party tonight. So all of that automation is definitely part of bringing everything together Turn sends on fader off. 
So let's hear it with the music. So after that, I just went and started balancing everything and put in a little ad-lib parts on it. Also, what I did was is I created VCA groups. So once you do your automation, you see how these are in read mode. If I want let's say I want to make the volume louder, I would have to overwrite. So I would have to latch and then bring it back. I would have to go to my hair and see my automation and it's just a lot so if i just want to do something simple like controlling the vocals i've set up a vca group which i click on that window create new vca for selected channel strips and as those those will pop up on the end so you see i have one for vocals and one for background so this is how i can control my overall volume Without affecting my automation. So let's go back and listen to it. And I think we about right there. Clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands. Come on.
you see, you can definitely achieve a professional sound and mix using only Logic plugins. Okay, so there's no excuse for you guys out there. Just take some tips from how I use these plugins and you can definitely create a record. Also, notice I pulled up my performance meter. And as you see, I have a whole heap of load of plugins on here. And that's one advantage of using the Logic Factory plugins because it's very, very, very light tax on your CPU. Okay? I'm not even at 25% of processing power. So that's another thing to keep in mind. But I appreciate you guys. Thanks. It's been a journey. And look out for our next video. This is EK. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Also, please subscribe to my channel for even more tips on mixing and mastering. I'm helping you take your mix game to the next level. Thank you and have a blessed day. EK out.